Welcome back. So, uh, for this five part, uh, we will now to uh, configure the H2 client and uh, we try to transform the Linux machine on a more automatic, autonomous machine. So, uh, as you remember, when we restart the machine, unfortunately, the services HQ client not launched by himself. Um, I will start by my login. Uh, I want that when I launch my computer, uh, I want I don't want to uh, uh, to write my login on my password. So I will click on my profile. I will unlock uh, the profile. And I will say automatic login. So this is solved. Now when I will restart my computer, it will launch com uh, directly my profile. Second part, I want to transform the HQ client service as an automatic service. Uh, to do this, uh, we will create a cron tab. A cron tab is a table that contains everything uh, you want to be uh, launched automatically. Uh, that will be by day, by month, uh, when we have a, a, a behavior on the computer as a restart, uh, uh, before we uh, we try to switch off the computer um, and for that so uh, you will just write uh, with a sudo because I want to stay administrator cron tab and I will add the um, um, uh, e option uh, because I want to edit a cron tab if this is your first time to, to create a cron. Um, it will ask you which software you want to use to edit. In my case, I will use Vim. So I just choose the number two. And welcome back to, uh, to the Vim editor. Uh, you are inside the cron tab. Uh, it is the first one for, for us. I will go down at the first free line and I will click on high on my keyboard just to be in the insert mode. So um, as a first line, I want to launch my services when I re restart my computer. That means I want to do something when I reboot my computer. So I use this command and uh, uh, this behavior, the reboot. So now I will have to add my command, what I want when I reboot my computer. But I want to launch in my home folder, my name, the HQ client. I want to launch the HQ client D series. And for that, I will, I, I will have to use the option start. Escape, colon W, colon Q. Now I will restart my computer again. And that's it working. As you, as you see now, uh, the computer is automatically launched and the services too. So we completely succeed our first part. So now I will try to launch my first render. Uh, and this render will include my new slave computer uh, on Linux and my Windows. So on the HQ render, I have to take a different philosophy for the HQ server because I want to explain to the whole computer where is the HQ server. I can use the local host. The local host will work only for my Windows because the Windows contain in the same time the HQ server and the HQ client. But I want that my Linux will understand where is the local host. So I will, on the HQ server, add my IP address. So now for my Windows, for my Linux, and for every computer on the Wonder Farm, they will look at the same place. I will submit the job. 
as you see that going really fast I will go on the uh, HQ server website it will generate uh, EFD but by default we see that it will try to use my windows and that's normal because in the HQ under there is a, an option, a very strange one so we will go on the mantra option and you will see there is a checkbox for allow cross platform rendering so I have to click on it to be sure that it will use a different platform Mac, Windows or Linux to render something when I use the HQ render that's strange, that's a kind of trap and we have to, uh, to notice it and I will be more specific this time because I want to try my render on the Linux only so in advance I can use a listed, uh, listed client on listed client I will be able to select my Cyril VirtualBox and I will click on accept so now submit job okay Uh, I use this just to show you a, a, a failed job so the job is failed and that's normal we have to know why so I will click on uh, download uh, output log so as you see the bin bash line of zero CD2 mini argument what's happened if you remember in the general target HFS I wrote the path uh, to Houdini but only for Windows and we have to explain the HFS is different if you are on Windows Linux and Mac you can leave only this path in the target HFS we have to be specific for each computer the first time we uh, create the HQ render, uh, we see this strange variable HQ client arc, and HQ client arc is different for each platform. We will use this specific behavior to uh, to uh, to solve our issues. We will use the HQ client variable to explain for each platform the right path to Houdini folder. And this variable, we will specify it inside the askunode.ini for each computer. On my Windows, I will go on my HQ client and I will open the askunode.ini. Inside it, I will add my variable client arc. I will have to remove the dollar sign. And for the, uh, the value of this variable, because I am on Windows, I will add the Houdini pass on Windows. I will save the file and don't forget when I change something in the Houdini uh, client uh, I will have to restart the services, the client services just to be up to date. On my Linux computer I will have to do the same thing so uh, I have to know where is my Houdini so Houdini is always in OPT uh, folder and uh, you will have two kind of folder the first one is a simlink a kind of shortcut and the second one is a real folder to Houdini so you can uh, choose uh, the, the boss if you want I will use the real one in my case and I will edit my ASCII uh, So. sudo vim home as you client I click on hi and I will just use 
hfs folder this is done escape colon w colon q and i will have to restart my services my bad this is done back on my houdini this time i will don't use as target hfs my path to houdini uh, when i'm on windows i will use the hack variable i will change two things i will don't limit it to uh, to my linux this time i will use any client and i will just change my mantra to wonder not wine frame but a frame range in my case I will just wonder three frame and I will submit this I will click on the job ID to see what's happened and we see that the desktop is already on the HFD generation and when the first one will be okay theoretically uh, the slave will uh, on Linux will try to render the first frame I will click on the job uh, for the Linux server, uh, the Linux client. I'm waiting. So, we failed again, but not for the same reason. If you take a look, the Houdini is okay. The mantra is okay, but the path to the file is not, and that's normal. We don't not yet configure the connection to the shared network folder, and that will be the next step.